Thanks for the shield. I'm keeping this. Give it! So, unless you're a plane, or a bum, or some ice, or a brainwashed buddy, or a Spider Man, or Tony Stark, or a version of yourself, or, or just, just plain Thanos, or, or the Dormelage, then you, you don't, don't necessarily, necessarily have to yield. <laughs> <laughs> that song is fun. It is with great honor that we announce here today the United States of America has a new hero. Join me in welcoming your new Captain America. What? It wasn't me, man! It wasn't me! Yeah! Huh? Excuse me. You thought you could kill a man with a shield that doesn't belong to you. Don't put it in a museum this time, will you, Sam? Yeah, I know. Good to see you again, Buck. Man. So, you got the shield back, you got a new suit, Old Man Rogers is hiding out for future cameos, and now you're officially Captain America. Yep, I gave a heroic speech on TV that made everyone reconsider their ways. Well, everyone but Zemo. He didn't change at all. But the Dora Milaje took care of him. But other than that, everything is better now. Is it? Yes. Everything is better now. I think you should have let the Dora Milaje handle this whole thing. Yeah. I like the Dora Milaje. They're smart and strong and always prepared. Reminds me of, well, me. You know what else reminds me of us? What? These two. We are nothing like you guys. Yeah, that seems like a stretch. A couple of hero buddies trying to do what's right. One has super strength, the other needs gadgets. One suit is more over the top pro-America. The other is more dark leather. You guys argue with each other all the time. One would totally date the other's sister given the chance. That's ridiculous. You don't have a sister. I know, but if I did, you would so try to date her. No, I wouldn't. You know why? Because I'm Batman. Yes, that's exactly why I know you would date her. Well, maybe you should consider her feelings instead of thinking you have the right to tell her how to live her life. You don't deserve my fictional sister. She's not the fictional sister I deserve. She's the fictional sister I need. What does that even mean? You know exactly what it means. My fictional sister is not going to become one of your failed relationships. Why are you trying to keep me from being happy? You want me to start doing that? Because I'm Bucky. Please don't. See? Just like us. Well, I know one thing that makes us different. What's that? Our universe doesn't reboot every five years. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Up top. <sighs> Man. We're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. Should be something. I got you, sucker! Welcome to the party, Sharon. So, unless you're a plane, or a bum, or some ice, or a brainwashed buddy, or Spider-Man, or Tony Stark, or a version of yourself, or just plain Thanos, or the Dormelage. You don't necessarily have to yield Then you don't have to You don't necessarily yield. have to yield Then you don't Now you, you don't have, have What's the point of the shield If nobody has to yield <laughs> Oh man, it's still good